A while back, I wanted to change the field of view in Pioneer Space Sim. The default field of view is designed for if you have a 4x3 screen that everything around you is visible if you use the views available to, to you in the game. The problem with that is that it meant everything was zoomed out so much that you couldn't see the sun from the Earth, for example, or you couldn't see the Earth from the moon and so forth. It made everything look, you know, really distant and, or, and small. So I adjusted the field of view to a, to a realistic level or a more realistic level, but then the problem, of course, becomes that you have mostly blind spots. So a head tracker was really necessary, but the only way to look around from within your ship was to hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse around. But I managed to get a head tracking to work using a couple of programs here. You see I have mouse emulation set up on my open track, and here I have a program called Universal Control Remapper, and I have you know, a joystick button set to activate the middle mouse button, and the toggle mode means that it will hold the middle mouse button until I hit this button again. And then I have a couple other commands here remapped that aren't related to head tracking. That they're just not mappable in the game. And the mapping, I had to make really low because the default mapping, which is something like that, uh, meant that if I turned my head to about to the edge of my to my monitor, it'd get about one and a half to or two and a half to three look three rotations all the way around. So this had to be a lot smoother. And the only the only other thing I had to do was go into options. Uh, well, I had to invert the pitch, and then I have buttons here. The same button that that toggles the holding of the middle mouse button will also toggle the the head tracker on and off. And when the head tracker starts, it will assume my head is centered. If I don't like that, I have another button that I can recenter the head position with, and then a third button I could use to just turn off the tracking, just in case these two become out of sync with one another. Now I have a G27 steering wheel and shifter and, and my Extreme 3D joystick, so I have a lot of buttons available that I can use for games. So let's go ahead and go into the game here. I'm in orbit around Phobos, and I'll activate the head tracker. There we go, and now I can look around. So there's Phobos. Uh, now normally in playing the game you wouldn't see the, whoops, I <laughs> just turned off the, uh, the head tracker. Let's reset that. Um, I touched the mouse. Normally uh, in the in the game you wouldn't see the mouse cursor there. Uh, but yeah, there's the sun. You can actually see the sun from Mars orbit, and there is Mars. And there's a Phobos base coming into view there. Now, one thing I had to do when changing the field of view also is to change the skybox. The default skybox in the game uh, is very low res and has built-in stars, and it gets zoomed in so much that it just became a bunch of white blobs. So I made a high-res skybox that's just the cloud, and I let the game draw the stars. Right now it's at 75% density. And by the way, right there is all the way to the left and I can continue turning about to there. So that's pretty good field of view. Uh, looking down, I can't quite get straight down. Oh, no, they're, they're straight down they're that, where that arrow is. So I've got a pretty good, pretty good uh, field of view there that I can look around in. Now the problem you see though is it's very choppy. You see that, how choppy it is, like, chop, 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 chop. Uh, that's not the head tracker, even when you move the camera using the mouse, it also does that. So I'm hoping there's a way to smooth this out in the game. Uh, maybe have it draw frames to the new location, which would create a slight lag, but I would prefer to have a slight lag than to have this chompiness. But otherwise the head tracking works, and you notice I have the, you know, that experimental cockpit model on. That does help keep your bearings as you're looking around. Um, of course, in the default game, it, it would be completely visible on the screen here. But now, with this field of view, it is only visible when you know, I'm turning my head around. So that's actually quite useful, even though it's not doesn't necessarily represent you know, the ship model that you're in. But it's pretty cool. But yeah, there you go, head tracking in Pioneer Space Sim. It works, sort of. Uh, if you have any questions about how to set this stuff up, I can uh, help you out. So let me know in comments.